Hello friends, in my last video, I just, we have created this alerts and we are sending this data to the backend. Here, if I write post four, and this is the body of the post four and author name, Lauren Epsom. And So if I send this thing, we are getting this post is sent to the database. And we also did this thing, we, we whatever the post was getting returned from the backend, we saved this to our, this object, posts object. So if I go ahead over to the, my view, view extension, and if I get into the roots, so currently I have nine arrays in there. The last one of them is which I just posted right now. So if I head over and if I try to add one more post, this, sorry, post one, uh, post 10, this is post 10, this is the body of the post 10, and author is post 10 let's say and if i send back thing and we are getting a response object back from the database so this is the body this is and this is coming from the book so see updated and created it is also added to it and if i head over to my networks property over here network so which i sent back whatever the request i'm making here Add is sent back, and this is the response which you are getting from the back end. Post added to the successfully, and the message which was popped out is coming from the database and coming from the back end, and we are just using it. So now, if I just go ahead over, so currently we are just getting all the posts, we are just posting all the posts, but right now, here, if there was no post in here, if it was empty, it was showing that there are no posts available, currently there are no posts available, but right now we do have the post in the post object, post uh, array, so to, I just want to get those post, post here, so for that I'll be using for loop, and view makes the things very easy we can do template rendering all the time anytime using the for loop so for that i will be just doing in the template if there's a div i'll give the class to it call md6 for the medium size screens i want two of them and call for sm screens i want to 12 and call for extra small screen i will just want to have one post on the line and for the large screen and for the large screen i will be i'll be wanting four posts uh, three posts right now so for that lg and we'll give the class to four so currently this won't do anything we don't have the post over here so we have to render those posts from the first object so for that we'll use v4 i'm trying to explain most of the things and v4 post in post posts object so it will loop through all the post in the post uh, post array and it will send all the and it will render out this thing so div the card and the card body where I will be putting this thing h5 and I want to give it a class of card heading or card title better say not card heading so here I want to render the title as if I go to the my schema of the post it was having this thing if I go to the view application 
uh, we can see it has author name body of the post created at title of the post so if you want to access the title here we want to access the title we can simply write post dot title and let's go and give it a shot and if i reload this thing so currently we are having one two three posts right now one two three all the posts here displayed here i don't know why what's wrong with this thing that's why it's not rendering well okay So friends, I made a mistake. Uh, everything that is there, which it should be in the in this row, that uh, templates, whatever templates we are rendering, and this is the ending of the view instance. So we have to make sure that thing. So whatever the things are in there should be in a row, and I have given a class of margin top two, and and this one should be also margin margin bottom two so now if i head over and reload we are getting all the posts from the database so currently we have just accessed one one title only one one property of the post object and now if i give a create a class of card subtitle and margin bottom will be almost two and text will be muted so if I render out this thing now post dot author and I'm just putting over here by and if I reload hit and reload we are getting all the authors here perfect so now if I go here and just write the body so for that body i'll be saying i'll be opening a paragraph text with a card with a class of card text and here i'll be echoing out the post dot body that's amazing but now I want to give a delete delete functionality to this thing so to add this delete functionality I just want to have a I just want to have button for the class of btn btn and in uh, btn danger and the class one more btn danger btn MD this will give for the medium size button and I want to give a class of BTN block so and here I'll write delete so if I head over to my terminal oh, Google Chrome I'll see the button over here with the delete buttons in here Now next thing, I also want to have a one more button which is for the editor so I will simply copy it down and this will be of info or better info uh, which will be for the edit. edit. So if I write it down now edit. So here we have our two buttons one for edit one for delete right now they are not doing anything but to make them functional i want to fire up an event when this button is clicked so for that we have an event and for you can write v on click and we'll call this a method over here so delete post is method over here uh, delete post method and I'll be passing post dot ID 
and make sure this ID a lot of times I make this mistake I made this mistake because I was passing barely the ID but if I head over to my view it's root if you want to see the object if you see object this ID this ID field is defined by MongoDB automatically and it is assigned automatically and this comes with an underscore ID so pass this underscore ID because I made this mistake several times but I also want to while I should not reload the page I want to I want to make this dynamic content I just wanted to splice that post from the post object post array as we click the button so after the success so we'll pass a key here this is a key and we'll simply pass it down over here and if I reload it nothing happened now if I go to the console we click delete we delete post is not matter defined because we haven't defined this method so far in here in the main.js so if I go to the methods and I will be adding here delete post and this will take one property is called post object sorry this will be the ID and the second will be second parameter will be the index and for index and if I uh, now I will be making one Ajax call or uh, uh, fetch call with a delete request so for the delete request will be we also want one more confirmation dialog so for that javascript the google chrome default google chrome confirm confirm method is also available and we can pass it on message are you sure to delete this post and if this is confirmed we want to delete the post from the server and else we don't want to do anything so now let's check what happens if I reload this thing if I delete we are getting are you sure to delete this post so you can know you can add custom models here after watching this video but I just wanted to make this simple because I'm not doing I don't want to switch much time and making models and stuff designing those so after that I should make the fetch API call fetch and this will um, again using template strings API and remember this API post and if I call copy and post paste this thing here again and with this I have to pass the ID so I'm passing ID the ID which we are getting from here not the global ID because in the global scope we haven't defined any ID over there and I just also want to pass one more method object in which I'll define which type of request is this so here I'll be passing delete method uh, which will automatically get this then I want to catch something catch the response and then res.json then it will fire a data object and I want to do something and if there's any error catch we pass error object and we console it log console.log error so if I make any delete request right now and if I console this data console.log data 
and if I head over to my uh, Google Chrome and if I put this delete request, yes, success is true. So this was the message coming from the backend which I defined in the post route or uh, route delete method. So delete method is currently here. Okay, this is the delete request. I'm just making comments. Post. And here we are passing the ID. And the post deleted is this message which we are getting from the back end is here. So if the success is true, we'll simplify again that again alert UI alert which was there so for that I just have to go and copy this thing and just paste it out here and first we'll check if data dot success this will check for the data else we want to do data dot message and otherwise we'll simply do this thing will pass success method now if I head over to this thing if I reload currently that post is gone from here and if I delete anything make sure see this thing is happening but this thing is not deleted from the UI the post is still there and if I reload then the post then you won't find that post here so this is because we haven't we uh, we don't want to reload the page again and again so that's why it is usually called simple single page applications this is a concept behind the single page application so if this is there i would just want to do this dot post dot splice this is a function javascript function which will spy, splice one index one and now if i do now if i reload this page currently that post is not there so if i want to delete this one python for beginners hindi currently oh sorry i just made a mistake this will be posts post array we are referring to the post array now if i do this thing see post three both are I click this out see the post is gone from here if I want to delete this urban 90 if I click it out that is gone and we are getting a pop-up here so that's basically it about the delete request now the difficult stuff is there that is to edit post and how to do that so for that again we have done almost half of the things. I just want to copy this thing out and then and you can if you, if you don't want to write V on you can simply write this at the rate symbol. So at the rate click will simplify edit post and simply pass the post and the key post and the key again so if you pass the post and the key here and if I go head over to my edit post I'll create a new method edit post and with a separated with the comma so that there's no error in there and this is accepting a post object post object and uh, index to and this will take this will be the this dot post equal to post object which we have just received from here sorry I just because view doesn't like having commas so semicolons at the end so I just have to get rid of them this will work and this dot edit mode 
is equal to true. So what we are doing, if I go ahead over, I have to find this thing, edit mode. Initially it was set to false. So I just want to convert this post button, add post button to the edit post button. So for that, I can simply go and write over here. And I can have one more button over here. I just called control C, control V. And this will be like, go for the normal post, normal add post button. Um, I just want to keep this upside, upside, so I just switch swap their places. But when put in condition here, we if not edit mode, if edit mode is false, then we will be rendering this button. Otherwise, we else. this one we'll simply write this thing so now if i reload this page now if i click this edit button see edit post and instead of edit post i will write update post that makes more sense and now if i reload if i click this edit post see everything takes its place from this post and now if i try to Make, notice the change over here here so if I add anything here lorem ipsum how dynamic is it this post is also getting changed by this one and now if I update this post I just want to fire one more and we have already prevented this form to submit so first of all it will go to this thing later on we'll add on a uh, validation also so what i can do in this post uh, this method should be called if this dot edit mode then i want to do something else i want to update the post add the post if the edit mode is on we will update the post and for that it will have the star. same functionality except some changes some minor changes so instead of going to add i will be doing this thing in the in edit post we have simply put request so we'll be changing simply put request post to put and everything just the same and instead of pushing that post we will load this post again we'll again call this this dot load post method again so this one is for the to add the post um and this method is for update the data to the server and make put request and if i save it down here so that is okay let's go and give a shot to it so if I reload this thing again, and if I want to update this post, if I click this edit post three, and update it, update it, update it. And if I update this post, we are getting nothing from here. That is because we haven't said the things accordingly. So before that, I will be, oh sorry, this was edit mode, actually. So now if I edit, if I update this post, we are not getting anything, cannot read load post. spelling mistake
now if I edit this thing title so cannot read the property of undefined but we got that message this thing's getting null again so for that oh assigned twice this thing and we want to change that edit mode back to that thing which was uh, to its initial state so edit mode equal to false false and i should mention this dot edit mode because it's still the data stay in this and now if i edit this thing Title. I just added something randomly. We are getting post updated successfully. And if I go this, post is updated. So I just want to go and talk a little bit about validation in this. So I'll be creating one more method in here. And that is simply validate. And separated by commas. And this event will be fired up if this dot so I'll be doing some sort of object restructuring so I have variables in my post object and currently I have these title body and author if all those fields someone tries to put something blank in there you still got that form will add that data to the database so we don't have to prevent that thing and so for that if we want to access those properties from there, from this object, we can do some or some sort of object destruction, and that is simply called. We can grab those properties and assign them to a new variables by doing this: title, body, and author equal to post, and this is the global variable post variable. So simply if I anywhere we want in this within the scope of this program so and um, after that i just want to bury these things so i'll simply say title not equal to equal no empty or body not equal to or something author not equal to empty string so if these things are not sorry it will be just uh, just marked up that will be like um, if any of them is empty so we will simply return false and validation fails else return true so this will return something this will return those things and we just want to put those validation data validation method checked before if any user adds or maybe edits the post so we'll put those we'll cut those out and just put that thing in if validate method and remember this this and if i write this thing in again and if i say this okay so now if anything goes wrong, we'll simply want to give an alert. Um, this alert will be a danger type. Now, if I copy and paste here, and I just want to send a custom message in here, so I can simply write, please fill in all the details. Now, if I reload it here, and if I add this thing, now we are having other custom danger alert. So this looks quite amazing and this is quite pretty. So if I edit this thing and if I just clean this out and then unable to update the post. Why is not able to update the post? But the question lies here. Uh, remember that message was coming from backend. So we have to enable update the post. So that is just because We haven't got that post body. So if I control S and reload this thing by F again, and if I edit, 
if I make this thing empty, unable to update the post because this is a server side validation. So first of all, uh, we have to check why it's this happening in here because they shouldn't be going back from there and just do the stuff. So for that, okay, author of body, oh, sorry. This will be our condition that was the biggest error I made. <laughs> that is a, now if I reload, if I try to edit and if I clean it out and if I post this, please fill it out, James. So this was a little buggy program and if I write this thing again, okay, something post, Five and body of post five. And if I update this post, this post is updated successfully. And our button is got back to that thing. So what I'm gonna do first of all, I'm gonna delete all the posts. I just post deleted. Again, post deleted successfully. This is the data. So this is a simple you can play around with this stuff and you can create your own post. I know this application looks like a bare bones, but we have discussed a, a lot about view.js in it. Uh, in the next video, I'll try to do the same with AngularJS or and I have been planning to do with AngularJS and uh, Angular CLI also. I'll be doing the same project with the uh, view. Uh, React is quite a weak point for me, but I'll, I'm trying working hard on it and in my future videos I'll be working on something like a Flutter, which is a good technology and I have been spending a lot of time learning that thing and stay tuned with my channel. I will be starting soon a Swift beginner series where we'll be doing some programs with that. And before starting that series, I would like to mention one more thing. I was, well, I'll continue my Python for beginners in Hindi series complete and soon I'll be coming up with Python in English beginner series. Um, so stay tuned with my channel. Hit and subscribe if you like the content of the video and thank you guys.